Good morning, grade nine. Uh, we are doing sixth question from five point two. The question is price of three chairs and two tables is four thousand five hundred, and the price of five chairs and three tables is seven thousand. Find the price of two chairs and two tables. Now see, let the price of a chair, means a single chair, let it be x, and that of a table, you should write. A table is equal to y. Okay, so x rupees costs one table and y rupees costs uh, x rupees cost one chairs and y rupees costs one table. All right. So what is the first condition? They have said three chairs and two tables. So cost of one chair is x. So cost of three chairs is three x. Cost of one table is y. Cost of two tables is is two y. So three x plus two y is four thousand five hundred. Now, second condition they have said cost of five chairs and three tables. Five chairs cost is five x. Three tables cost is three y. Therefore, we have five x plus three y is equal to seven thousand. Okay. So this is your first equation and this is your second equation. All right. By the way, equation one by three y are we doing this? We want to solve this simultaneous equations. Okay. So first thing is. You have to equalize the coordinates. So let's equalize the coordinates. If we multiply first equation by three and second equation by two, see we are equalizing like this. We are multiplying first equation by three, so we get three two are six. Okay, and we are multiplying second equation by two, so again we get three two are two three are six. So we are equalizing y coefficient. After multiplying, we get nine x plus six y is equal to thirteen thousand five hundred. And after multiplying second equation by two, we get the next plus six y is equal to fourteen thousand rupees. So this is thirteen thousand five hundred, and this is fourteen thousand. Now we want to eliminate either of x or y. The coefficient we have equalized of y, so we need to eliminate eliminate y by subtracting. So we are subtracting four minus three. That means the third equation we are subtracting from fourth equation. So let us do the subtraction quickly. So subtraction. Subtraction is this we are writing. See, ten x plus six y is equal to fourteen thousand minus nine x. Plus six y is equal to thirteen thousand five hundred. Okay. Let us carry out this subtraction. What we get is ten x minus nine x is only one x, which will be equal to fourteen thousand minus thirteen thousand five hundred is only five hundred. Okay. So we got value of x is five hundred. Now what is asked at the end? Find the price of two chairs and two tables. We got price of one chair. So cost of two chairs immediately you find out is equal to two into five hundred, which is equal to one thousand rupees. So this is cost of two chairs. Now substitute. Substitute x is equal to five hundred. In any of the equation, we can do it. So let us substitute in equation. For example, one in equation one, that is three x plus two y is equal to thirteen thousand five hundred. This was first equation. All right. So three into five hundred, that is x. Plus two y is equal to thirteen thousand five hundred. So this is fifteen hundred plus two y thirteen thousand five hundred. So we have two y is equal to thirteen thousand five hundred minus one thousand five hundred. So two y comes out to be so two y we get equal to Uh, one minute. What is the first equation? 
First equation is 3x plus 2y is 4500. This is 4500. Okay. So, so 4500 minus 1500 will give you 3000. Alright. 2y is equal to 3000. And now we have y is equal to or we don't have to find y. We want value of 2y only. No. 2 chairs and 2 tables. So what is the cost of 2 chairs? This is say for example a. And cost of 2 tables is 2y we got no. So this is equal to b. Why I am not finding y? Because I want value of 2y plus 2x. 2 chairs means this is 2x. So 2x is equal to this. The question asked is find the price of 2 chairs and 2 tables. So 2 chairs and 2 tables. You can pause the video and take it down. 2 chairs and 2 tables cost cost of 2 chairs and 2 tables is equal to 2x plus 2y. So that is equal to 2x is how much? 1000 plus 2y is equal to 3000. This comes out to be equal to rupees 4000. Understood everybody? Okay. So what is asked you see and accordingly that you should be doing. Let's go to the next. See 7th, 8th, 9th, 10 problems are reduced from your syllabus. Alright this year. So you, we need not solve. We will go for problems and find directly. Choose the correct alternative answers for the following questions. We are doing now problems in 5. Huh? Please pause the video and take down. Understand and then write. So problem set. Problem set 5. Problem set 5. So first they have given 3x plus 5y is equal to 9 and 5x plus 3y is equal to 7. Then what is the value of x plus y? Very interesting problem. See now. 3x plus 5y is equal to 9. Okay. And second equation is 5x plus 3y is equal to 7. And you have to find x plus y. See students. Carefully observe both the equations. Coefficients are exchanged. Can you see? 3x here 3y. 5y here 5y. So 3 and 5 has exchanged over here. When like this questions come and you have to find the value of x plus y is equal to question mark. Do not try to solve all the simultaneous equation. Then you first find x, then substitute and find y and then add x plus y. Don't do that. There is very easy trick to do this. You add up both the equations. What you will get? 3x plus 5y is equal to 9 plus 5x. Plus 3y is equal to 7. After adding what do you get? 8x plus 8y is equal to 9 plus 7 is 16. You got this? Now see we are so close to x plus y. Divide whole equation this by 8. Divide. Divide. 8x plus 8y is equal to 16 by 8. Divide this by 8. What you will get? 8x upon 8 will be only x. 8y upon 8 will be only y. And 16 upon 8 will be 2. 8 comes by 8 and 8 is 16. So, this is equal to x. Because what is asked? x plus y. We got no x plus y. So, what is x plus y? x plus y is equal to 2. So, 2 is your answer. Isn't it easy? Okay. So, please remember this trick when the Coefficients are exchanged. Alright. So that's all for today's students. Remaining problems we'll see in next video. Thank you.